Hey, this is Joe with Grow It, Build It, and I am going to do an unboxing, setup, and review of the DeWalt electric chainsaw 20 volt 12 inch bar. Um, this chainsaw, is, I've had it for a number of months now and used it periodically. Um, I just kind of waited to put all this footage together for a video. Um, but, uh, anyways, it's DeWalt, so you know they're known for pretty good quality. I've never had much problems with any of the tools I've owned of them. Um, this is the first 20 volt one I've owned, but this one uh, came with a uh, 5 amp hour battery, which is good because this thing eats up a lot of power. I can get uh, like an hour and a half of work in, maybe two hours uh, with this saw before it needs a new charge. But uh, anyways, uh, it's packaged right, so nothing uh, slides around and gets damaged. It has that little plastic scabbard which will uh, protect you from accidentally touching the blade. They are sharp. Um, you know, I'm suburban homeowner whose land backs up to a forest so um, this may sit on the shelf for some time before I use it. This comes with a chain brake that you see me actuating there. Uh, chain brake is a safety feature on a chainsaw where if uh, you get any kickback from like starting to cut with the tip of the uh, chain, um, if it starts coming towards your face uh, when your forearm will uh, push the chain brake forward it will stop the blade so I'm all about safety features with dangerous power tools so that's good but uh, you don't need any tools to pull the plastic cover off and access the chain tensioner right there um, this is right out of the box so the chain's going to be a little loose you want it to be able to pull away from the bar like an eighth of an inch roughly you know with just kind of giving it a tug that's about half an inch so we just need to tighten it up a little bit all you do for that is uh, turn the knob a couple of turns and check it and keep repeating this until you get the tension right. Um, and you really want to do this every time you run a chainsaw. Um, a loose chain can come off, but uh, once you get it right, you just replace the cover and put it right back on. Um, I do like the fact that it doesn't, you, you don't need a wrench to do it, like, uh, you know, so it's one less thing that you can lose. I'll put it that way. Um, but, uh, once you get it clicked in a few times, uh, you just close that up. Um, so this saw, it has a, a little safety button right there that you have to push in and then pull the trigger at the same time for it to spin. Um, and that's kind of another safety feature, especially if you got little kids around and they do work outside, which I do. I mean, I tell them to stay away from this stuff all the time, but again, every little safety feature is a nice thing, I think. Um, now we got to put some oil in it, and I just showed you the front oil indicator. It will arrive dry. Um, you'll need to put some chainsaw bar oil in and the reservoir is on the other side. You just pop the lever up and it, turn it half a turn and it pops right out. And then you just need to uh, fill it up. And I, I don't have a picture of it or I didn't put a shot of this in there, but there's a little uh, rod running through the middle of the reservoir. If you fill the oil up to that rod, you're basically filling it to its capacity. So that kind of helps you not overfill the reservoir so that's kind of nice too but once you pop that back in you can check the uh, how much oil is in there for the lubrication um, you want to do this every time you run the saw and you can see on the indicator there that yes I've got oil in there I've got enough oil so now the only thing left to do is to see if we got any juice in the battery out of the box and we can start cutting um, but anyways you just slide it in until it clicks like most other uh, cordless power tools Pull the chain brake back and uh, push the safety button and pull the trigger and as you can see it does come with a little bit of juice so now uh, we're ready to cut um, this is a uh, about a six inch diameter limb that I'm cutting through right now um, and I'm just kind of doing this more for demonstration just to show you how fast it'll go through there uh, so I did a little research on this compared to other models. Um, this is the 20 volt version. The chain speed, the maximum chain speed is uh, 25 feet per second, which is just under eight meters per second. Um, this is gonna be slower than a gas chainsaw. Uh, DeWalt does make a 60 volt electric chainsaw cordless that you can get, and that one cuts twice as fast. So uh, 50 feet per second is the chain speed, which is right around 15 meters per second. And to compare that to like an actual gas chainsaw, a gas one usually runs around, of this size, a gas chainsaw will run around 80 feet per second, so more than three times as fast. But again, I'm not cutting firewood to heat my home, I'm not a lumberjack, I'm just doing this for backyard cleanup when a ra random tree falls down. So that's a nine inch log there. 
I have a 12 inch bar on this and this log pretty much maxed out um, how like this is about as big a log as I could cut with one pass theoretically you could do a log that's two feet uh, diameter by going halfway down one side then halfway down the other um, but uh, you know really if you have uh, that big of a tree you probably need to phone a friend who has a, uh, a big a really big chainsaw but anyways the electric chainsaws are nice because they're always going to start as long as you have uh, battery power it will start even if you haven't used it for six months or a year um, also they're quiet and like if you are a camper and you go to some campground and you find a need for a chainsaw to cut some wood perhaps but you don't want anyone to hear you wink wink this is your chainsaw but as you can see this uh, log right here that was just under a foot on diameter it was a split log but still I'm just demonstrating that it can cut through it what I mainly am using this chainsaw for is the random tree that falls over uh, from the forest that backs up my property and this stuff this is Japanese bush honeysuckle uh, a myrrh honeysuckle it's a horrible invasive plant that makes an impenetrable canopy like no light gets through it and I've been using it for some months to clear these out and it is awesome for that um, you can see the progress I've made at this point this was like in September I think maybe October I can't remember um, but it chews right through the trunks of these they're not very big obviously so this is a great saw for limbing up stuff that falls down and even cutting it up into firewood um, but uh, I've been very pleased with it like I said I've been using it for a while I can work for about an hour and a half two hours of uh, just me myself cutting um, and you know with this stuff it, it's you know I'll get a huge brush pile at the end and I can just take this and push right through everything and uh, reduce the size of the pile really easily so it saves me a whole lot of work that way um, I really enjoy the saw uh, I definitely recommend it to people it's a decent quality brand who uh, I mean I haven't had any problems but if I did and it seemed like an actual manufacturing defect that showed itself later I mean you're gonna have better luck with DeWalt than you will with others now I will have a link to this chainsaw down there I got mine on sale for 200 bucks um, so you can check to see if maybe they're having a sale at Amazon but uh, um, overall I, I just really like the saw I mean it uh, is allowing me to get rid of a bad invasive plant um, it's allowing me to uh, you know basically be able to see into the forest that abuts my property and uh, yeah I'm very happy with it so uh, you know and again this is a light duty chainsaw for the occasional user um, this is not for someone who is going to heat your house but if you're watching this you probably already know that but you can see what kind of progress I've made this was uh, shot in February early February I think and I basically cleared the first row of uh, all this stuff about 15 feet back and uh, there's just a ton of brush that goes away with this stuff um, so again I'm very happy with it and um, one other thing to know about uh, any chainsaw if you're just kind of maybe thinking about getting your first one um, every time you really use this thing you really want to clean it out when you're done um, and just pop the battery out and uh, uh, brush it down wipe it down and then uh, you want to clean out the chain area and then the uh, cover that uh, where you access the tensioner you're going to see how much crap accumulates there so this stuff can gum up your uh, chain it makes it run more inefficient it makes your battery drain faster so just just clean it out periodically um, also every time you run it you want to make sure you have enough oil and the chain is tensioned uh, properly but that's pretty much about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You want to learn more about, uh, you know, uh, gardening stuff, uh, little DIY and uh, plants, uh, subscribe. But uh, thank you guys all for watching. And if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys very much and have a good one.